All right, welcome back to Twelve in a Trench Coat. I'm Mid Hearts Three, and today we are back in Dragon Age Inquisition. Last time we went through the, we finished going through this part of the map. Um, that's basically what we did. We helped, or we met this cult in the mountains or in the valley of the hinterlands who are stationed at um, winter watch cave they didn't believe us to be the herald of andraste but with us taking care of the breach that was in their back room we were able to convince them that we were indeed probably sent by the maker and was a herald of Andraste, and in doing so, we were able to convince them to join the Inquisition underneath Josephine. So we took care of all of the the Fade Rifts. Um, we got the camp. I don't think there's any more points of interest, but I mean, we can always like dip back in here if need be. We also stretched forth forward a little bit so we could um, capture Dusklight Camp or claim Dusklight Camp and getting rid of the East Road Bandits. Um, and for that, we are heading back to the Crossroads because we need to talk to Corporal Vale about a few things. And yeah, so today we're going to be steering clear of Redcliffe for a little bit. I don't immediately want to go into Redcliffe. It's it's a nice area, but I'd like to get um, boots on the ground, firmly planted on the ground in Redcliffe, I mean, in the hinterlands, before I head into Redcliffe. And we'll just poke our head in there. I also would like to go to the Storm Coast, but dealing with the hinterlands first is my main priority. So today, we will be heading into the outskirts so here's the camp that we start out in it's the outskirts camp across the way we keep seeing a structure there's another camp but there's also i think it's this this fade rift but there's also a fade rift like kind of like here ish or something or it seems like there's a um a fade rift that i keep seeing so we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that either way Let's go talk to Corporal Vale, and then we'll head out. Welcome back. Hello. Also, do we need to sell? Oh. Do we need to sell things? Oh yeah, the number's getting high. The number's getting really high. Okay. So also, if you're looking for it, the Antiven Fire Grenade recipe is being sold by the merchant in the crossroads, and. They have schematics, but they're listed by, like, type. So there's the weapon schematics, the armor schematics, and the recipes. So just be on the lookout wherever you go. Purple. Nice work clearing out those bandits. That will make it much easier to bring in supplies for the refugees. Uh, we already talked to him about all of this. Any what other, other problems then? do these refugees face? We've got some injuries that go beyond stitches and elf fruit. I know healers are in short supply, but if you can find someone in Redcliffe to help us, it would save a lot of lives. Farewell. Oh, right. And you as well. Right, we needed to find a healer in Redcliffe, so maybe we might end up going to Redcliffe earlier than, than I think, but um, I'm trying to hold off as long as possible, because once I hit Redcliffe, I feel like the amount of enemies die down, and... I don't know. Okay, we see there's a landmark above us, but we aren't able to reach it yet. So climbing the path opposite of where our camp, our first camp is set up, we can head over to what this says is Kellen Hat's foothold. And that should sound familiar because we picked up a paper off of a dead Templar and he had something about Kalanhad's foothold. The sketch of the castle on a rocky ridge marks a spot along a broken wall. Find the spot marked on the sketch. So... Seems that there's some knocked over pillars and kind of like up some rubble. 
and it should lead us to where the sketch is. Hopefully. Well, making our way up this path, this very steep path, we discover Callan had some gold. There's a, a pot along the path next to a dead body with um, some weapons in it. Climbing, we see a, sp a, a curious symbol on the map with kind of like a skull on it, but it looks strange. Well, we'll get to that when we get to it, but there's a fade rift that needs our attention. Oh, hello, sir. I did not see you. effect attacks so area of effect attacks allow you to target groups of enemies use the uh, movement so the left stick to move the target point for the aoe and then press a to initiate the aoe when you are happy with the position or press b to cancel all right so i'm gonna just put it right here and hopefully it'll work because it's it's kind of on a it's on like a weird slant Maybe I can... I can't really see over there. Uh, and it won't let me go onto that one. Okay. So this is the only one that I could probably do. So, the spell magic, hopefully... Okay. Gets rid of that demon that was spawning, so you don't have to worry. And it comes in... It, it's very useful. Ouch. It's very useful later on in the game when you come across more powerful demons and fade rifts with a lot more demons pouring out of them. Alright, but demons dealt with, we can close this rift. Alright, and then loot its remains. Blue Vitoral. Okay, yes. It's a metal, a material. It's a frost essence. Okay, oh, there's there's a lot. Okay. Some shadow essence and some more shadow essence. Cool. The knave will be pleased with our With our progress. Okay, well, making our way, we see the curious sight. It's emitting some sort of light. Some sort of blue light. So I think I'm going the right way. Head back into the outskirts. And. Crap. Okay. I was like, please let me climb. But no. Is this a way that I can get up? It's okay, don't be shy. It's okay. Don't be shy. Or, or, hear me out. We can go take the rock bridge on the other side. And climbing to this, oh, heavens. Climbing to this, we get a pretty good sight. Goes all the way down to the crossroads, we can see the statue. All the way down there, being lit by the sun. Go. Oop, okay, they decide to go a different path. Apparently walking that way was bad. We find this makeshift camp. Some coin on a table. And when we're ready, we can approach this... Ocular room? The skull illuminates certain objects in the distance. I am not familiar with such magic. Of course, it had to be a skull that lights up creepy shit. Okay, so apart from it kind of singing this sort of tune or having this this sound em emit from it it also makes 
the people that travel with you, or at least voices that are close to you, sound so very distant. Kind of separated in an unworldly way. But, as we can see, we can move around this curse, or the magnifying glass, I would say, and pick up these motes of light. We saw the one all the way in the distance, and then we can just continue until we find everything using this device to reveal things that were once hidden all right shards in the hinterlands there's 22 there's always going to be more than one um ocular i don't know I'll, i don't think i'm saying that word correctly <laughs> at all but yeah there's always going to be more so just be on the lookout and a sack we find some silk Mages and Templars fighting everywhere. Great job, Blondie. Well, following that map that we saw... Oops, there people back there? Oh yeah, there's people back there. Oh, there's people- there's people everywhere. Hello, did you see what I was doing? Dead. He got his leg up! Is that for damage? That's crazy. Actually, wait. Okay, they're, they're level 5. We're level 5. It's okay. We're okay. There's just a lot of them. We're getting a little too close to the Witchwood for my, for my liking and tastes. Cassandra sees more people that I'm gonna loot. I'm here for a personal locket. assortment of materials and then we can head back to the bridge to see if we can climb it but we can't but thank heavens there's a hole in the wall that tower is impressive even as a ruin i wonder what dreams it might hold hmm yes as a dreamer such as yourself i suppose you'd have such questions anyway back on the bridge we find the shard so we can collect it that's what the skull helped you find? Right. Not ominous at all. <laughs> it's not crazy, not ominous. Wild. Oh, so shard collector is a thing. On the war table. When we get a chance, we can head back. Excuse me, Solas. We can head back to the war table and handle that. Uh, but for right now, we'll just continue looking at this old castle wide open area very pretty i might say might be something here better take a closer look yeah and before we take a closer look we can go forward and claim a landmark spot another saga of tutor de bright axe avar mother this is the second stanza when we're ready we can start looking or scouting for hmm. whatever led us here. There's a lot of elf fruit. So if you need some elf fruit, there's some elf fruits like outside. There's some inside. I just say make the most of what you have of the space, really. And just go to town. Okay, well, it seems like that area is blocked off, but we should be able to find another, probably another entry in. Oh, I was looking at, do I see a pair of legs? Yes, I do. That man went, went horizontal. <laughs>
Oh, there's some Templars fighting mages over here. Oh no, they killed the Rams! Aw, poor things. Well, I mean, maybe if we're careful, we could probably... Come on, you know you can, you know you want to. Probably scale up this structure. Right, okay. And then we can climb all the way down. And find, in the rubble, a little big spot. For a rock armor recipe. And in the corner, there's a chest. With a wide blade sword schematic and a cold um, belt of cold resistance. Leave this courtyard and kind of chart where we want to go. The next camp is not too far from us. So we can head over there. Um, there's only two fade rifts in this area. One is closer to where um, the crossroads are. So we can, we can kind of head in that direction. I need to mark this because it marks everything on the map that is a camp. So it makes it a little difficult to see it. But walking closer, we can find Lake Luthius. And I haven't seen the lake yet, but I do see... Oh, never mind. I hear the lake. Or at least I hear a waterfall. We could make camp here? Yes, we could. So, before we continue on, we can make the camp. Awesome and cool. Alright. All rested up. We are ready to go. Not far from us, there is a waterfall. And the waterfalls are, there's most likely a lake. So, leaping back down to the same level as our camp, we find Blood Lotus for the first time. Blood Lotus appear in swampy type areas, uh, places with lots of water, kind of like a lotus type of thing, but it's not. You'll find it in more watered areas, is what I'm saying. So, just be on the lookout if you're looking for it. Nestled in between three trees where some climbing planks are, and a dead body who has been killed on watch, we find a paper uh, mapped to a waterfall. So it's telling us that there's four kind of pillars, like with a bridge or something, and walking across the bridge, we can go up a path and then behind a waterfall. Okay, we'll be on the lookout for that. It is so scenic here. Hello, Mr. Ram. It's very scenic, but you can also see the fire happening. That's where the Templars and the mages are fighting each other currently. But on our map, we see one of those pillars with the skull again. Look, that's the King's Road down there. Oh, that's the King's Road. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that's the King's Road. There's like another tower castle structure down there. And then just a bunch of burning houses. But when we're ready, we can look through the spyglass. So we can see some glyphs flying about. Some shards in a burning building and one on a vantage point on a hill. Ready? We can pull back and. No more whispers from the skull. We can gather some more materials and then we can make our way. I'm intrigued to, f um, to scout out this lake with the so called waterfall. I mean, maybe the waterfall that we're looking for is back there. If we can find our way over there, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Looping in a way to not have the requisition officer talk to me again, we make our way to the other side of camp as we try to look for a way to the lake proper. I think we deserve a beach day. So, finding a path and following a ram up, we find the lake. Lake Luthius. 
Uh, it is a sizable lake with some um, piers on it, a bridge to cross it, and a house in the distance. An imposing mountain far back. So, we can't be in water, so I don't think we're going to survive going over there. Hold on. For science. Go in. Eh, it's not that deep. Never mind. It's that deep. Okay. Right. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. No one go in the lake. Alright. Skirting around the water, we can locate that bridge. As we see a waterfall come into place. Interesting. Maybe there's something behind there. Maybe that's the thing that we're looking for. What made the mages come island. here of all places? Yeah, questions, more questions. Well, heading to a island, kind of in the middle of the lake, we find another landmark. Another part, the first saga, uh, the first stanza of the saga of Tear the Bright Axe of our mother. In any case, we find our bridge leading from this little island all the way to that house over there. Before we go, I'm gonna inspect the boats. Let's see if there's anything here. Nope, don't fall in the water. Alright, well, when we're ready, we can walk the bridge and end up at this little house. With a bright window. Heavens, the sunlight is pouring through there. Behind the house, next to the chimney, there is a chest. You comfortable back there, Varric? He's fine. He, he likes enclosed spaces like that. He's told me before. So we find 48 gold apprentice armor. And next to it, we find a mosaic piece. The first, a piece of the fall. Which is a full mosaic, and if we find all the pieces, uh, we'll be able to see the entire piece for what it is. Or just the entire piece itself. Well, we can look in this little cabin. And find a fireplace. And a book on a bed. The Orlesian Empire. There are many lords and ladies in Valroyo. And I mean this literally. Once the system of noble titles in Orlais was labyrinthine. There were barons, baronesses, uh, baronets, and sub-barons, and a horde of others, each with its own origins and its own nuances of comparison. The Orlesian aristocracy is ancient and much given to competition. All the nobility play the grand game as it is known, whether they wish to or not. It is a game of reputation and patronage, where moves are made with rumors and scandal is a chief weapon. No gentle game this. More blood has been drawn as a result of the grand game than any war the Orlesians have fought. Of this, I am assured by almost every gentleman here. As far as titles went, Everything changed when the coming of Emperor Dracon, who established the Orlesian Empire as it exists now, and who created the Chantry. There is no more venerated figure in Orlais. In Valroyo, the statue of Dracon stands as tall as the statue of Andraste. Dracon determined that the grand game was tearing Orlais apart, so he abolished all titles besides his own and lord and lady. I am told with some teetering amusement that this action did not end the grand game as Dracon had intended. Now the lord and ladies collected unofficial titles rather than official ones, such as the exalted patron of Tassius Clay and uncle of the champion of Thremes. It is a headache to remember such titles, and one winces to think of the poor doorman at the ball who must rattle them off as each guest enters the room. The aristocracy is different from Ferelden in other ways as well. The Orlesians' right to rule stems directly from the Maker. There exists neither the concept of rule by the merit nor the slightest notion of rebellion. If one is not noble, 
one aspires to be, or at the least aspires to be in the good graces of a noble, and is ever watching for a way to enter the patronage of those better placed in the grand game. And then there are the masks, and the cosmetics. I have not seen so much paint since the kennels at High Ever, but that is another story. From Beyond the Frostbacks by Ban Torik of West Hill, 920 Dragon. Creeping slowly, we find some people fighting over here. Are they fighting? Are they fighting a bear? Why are they fighting a bear? Okay, heading down, we find ourselves in the Avar Blade Valley. And we can watch these Templars fight a bear. Oh my gosh, he's dead. Okay, we can watch these men get killed by- Oh dear! bears in these woods. But when we're ready, we can loot the bear for a bear hide. Loot some elf root. Creature for some lamb's wool. Money. And we can just loot everything. And... Oh, weapon fragments. And find ourselves facing a person in the most unfortunate of positions with a note next to them. A letter found on a corpse. She told us right and proper, son, three times around the crown statue, right hand close enough to brush the stone itself, and the spirits will listen. Everything else has been done. We slip the silver to the chantry to save grandfather's body from the burning, and he's buried close by. Three times around, always turning right, and the spirits will bring him back to us. Go now, and don't be afraid. Okay. Oh, the per- uh, Okay, this unfortunate person is being devoured by the very, um, creatures who live here. And a little further from him, we find a logging stand. Cool and awesome. Awesome and cool. Oh my gosh, it's another bear! How level is that bear? That bear is level 8. Oh my gosh, that bear is messing her up. We're trying, girl. We're trying. <laughs> yeah, bear. Get out of there. Jeez, what are you doing? We don't need heroes in this quest. Anyway, we can loot this bear. <laughs> For bear claws and bear hide. You wanna... You wanna... Here, just on the house. I'm also gonna take one. And Solus is completely fine. He doesn't he doesn't need anything. Alright. Well. There are oh my gosh, there's another bear. Okay. <laughs> uh running for my life. We find ourselves at the base of this waterfall, and we find a cave entrance and people guarding it. Dwarven people guard. Where did this body come from? Mercenaries? Is he gone? Looks like Carter. He's not With gone. With both Templars and Mages oh, here, enough. they profit enough. greatly from smuggling Lyrian. Oh, man. Okay. The one thing that this game does is that if something dies far away, but you were fighting it, it will bring its corpse to you sometimes, or like a pouch that it drops. And that's what it did when I walked up here, and I'm like, where did this come from? But, okay. You can loot this whatever this was. Creature. Oh, it was a nug. And then loot it again for the other nug that we had just killed. 
We can loot the pouch that's right next to us for high ever weave and some gold. Getting a lot of crafting materials and iron. And we find Valimar Gate. Hmm. Interesting. Valimar Gate. There's something else. There's probably something down there, right? Maybe up? I have no clue. Either way. Find this gate, we can open it. Oh, we need to find the key. Okay, the key is required. We are not allowed in. Oh, some wolves bothering a ram over here. Never mind, I think it's just regular Mabari. I feel bad now. Okay, disengage. Canine leather, unfortunately, and a body. Uh, okay. A body of a dead dwarf. And on the body of a dead dwarf, we find a masterwork sturdy Bianchi grip schematic and 14 gold. Interesting. Why you get your cheese on the floor like that? What are th are those potatoes? They're gonna they're gonna grow into more potatoes, and I don't think you want that. I don't think you're ready for that. There's some fighting happening behind us, but for right now we're worried about closing this theater in front of this person's front door. Heavens, I couldn't even imagine, like, you want to step foot out of your house, and there's a fade away. I really am right in the there. ass end of nowhere now. No, no, we're in the mountains of Hinterlands. We know where we are. We're in the mountains of Hinterlands. What that means, I have no clue, but, you know, we're somewhere. It's someplace. It surely is. Uh, are they up? Are they fighting up on this cliff? Hello? Are people fighting on this cliff? It seems like it. I'm gonna put myself right here. Did he just die and turn invisible? Oh, he's right here. What in the world? Okay, we're- okay. Alright. Cool. We find bowstring to turn into to get to Maeve. Uh, that's elf root, so we won't worry about that right now. Uh, going a little forward, we find some sort of wall structure. And further, we find. Excuse me. Have you seen another scout. Inquisition scout? Elven woman. Answers to Ritz. Oh, yes. We first I found her. Ritz and rescued her from an attack by the Templars. She's fine. Thank you. I appreciate you taking the time. It's dangerous out here for everyone. I'm glad the Inquisition is trying to put things right. Well, we finished the quest Strange Bedfellows. Um, it's kind of funny that we kind of went about that backward, even though this seems like a sort of out of way area. Are they fighting again? Are there people over here fighting? Or are they down below? Oh, they're down below. Not quite out of sight. Not very much out of mind. If I try to fight them, it's not really gonna amount to much. I don't feel like going all the way down there just yet. There's things to explore up here. Okay, well, once we get the chance, we can head down back to this house and see if anyone's home. See if- make sure everyone's okay. There is an explanation point, so maybe maybe there's something. 
Who knows? Oh yes, we see a Tip widow. bastards killed my husband and stole the ring from his finger. Oh, oh, they okay. deserve to die. You're saying the Templars attacked your husband? Aye, he was digging out a stump. The fools couldn't tell a shovel from a mage's staff. Had to be safe, they said. Rebels everywhere attacking by surprise, sick bastards. They took the ring I gave him on our wedding day in case it was magic. Uh, I hope you're putting quotation marks around that in case it was Farewell. magic. Mm. Alright, we can recover the farmer's ring from the Templars. This is so upsetting, just like hearing the stories of the people that just want to go about their lives and their days. I'm sorry, ma'am, I'm gonna loot your chest in the back behind your house for a frilled and Captain Longsword and a topaz. But it's just like everyone's lives are upended one way or another, either by being a major Templar and having this war between your two factions start, or you're a hapless refugee that has their home destroyed by a mage or a Templar who are fighting each other senselessly without a care for anybody else. Oh gosh, there's a burning house over there! Heavens! Why is this house on fire? Why are these Templars not putting out the fire? Yeah, let's have more fire to the mix. Sir, you are an archer? What are you trying to do? Want me to handle that? Uh, yeah, go. Yeah, try it. He's doing something. Thank you, Mary. So there is still lockpicking in this game. Excuse me, Mary. The apostates lock themselves in for safety. And the Templar set the house on fire. <sighs> Sickening. On the table, we find a page from a journal. Edges, scor oh, edges scorched. The Templars were attacking the peasants we'd taken food from. They wanted to make certain that everyone fought to the death rather than help us. We took them by surprise with ice and lightning, and several were dead before they even saw us. So much for all the Templar discipline. The brutes are off the leash just as much as we are now. Still, there were enough of them to damp our magic, and the cell swords died fast when it came to blows. We've fallen back into the peasants' home. It's sturdy enough in here, and it looks like the peasants didn't give up at all give up all their food after all. The door's locked and the Templars gave up trying to force it after we killed the last fool who tried. I can hear them out there, doing something out in the trees. Whatever they try, we'll be ready. We're never going back to any circle. Even real Templars couldn't stop us, and these glorified bandits are no better than we are. From page scorch around the edges, apparently torn from a journal. Oh gosh. All this senseless violence and for what? Those are some scorch marks. Okay, in the corner. I can tell them to stop, but they're not going to. There's a chest. I can open it. It has a discipline fire staff, apprentice robes, some gold. Jumping over the bed, we can loot some bottles and find Aquamine and a Mine Leech Staff. Okay. Oop. All my friends are outside. <sighs> All this violence and for what? What does it accomplish? Nothing. It accomplishes nothing. Following kind of up in this upper area, there's a bunch of rams, and close by them we find some crystal grace. Really pretty blue flower that is kind of attached to some, a, a, like a log or something. Either way, real pretty stuff. Make our way back down. I don't think there was anything else up here, just a bunch of rams. I don't want to displace them. They're pretty cool. They're just doing their thing. Oop. Oh yeah, let's just alter it. Okay. 
making our way down the forceful way. There's more Templars and more mages fighting. But up where we were, I guess it kind of leads back into Dwarfson's Pass. Right. I wonder if I should just leave all the shards and then pick them up in one episode. I might just, because it's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. There's a lot of shards in this game. It's actually wild how many there are. I mean, I guess in the long run, like, the ends kind of justify the means, I suppose. But at the same time, there's a lot of them. Okay, making our way back to the crossroads, we're gonna go to the other Fade Rift. No, they don't. It's just that I heard the door. Welcome back. Hi. He's so friendly every time I come here. He's like, welcome back. Okay, it doesn't seem like the rams Thank are up you. here. And blessings it's so upon funny. Position. Oh yes, blessings upon you. Many blessings. I just wanted to make sure that you weren't just smuggling any more rams up by your, in your house. I mean, they're your rams, so I shouldn't really be policing what you do with them, but I don't find it very healthy for them to be up there, you know? What if they fall on someone's head? I mean, sure, they probably shouldn't have been in your house, but you know what? I, I just feel like it's not safe for them to be up there. But yeah, don't don't let me police you. Don't let me stop you if you want to put them up there. If you think they should be up there. Gosh, this is going to open up right quick for me, isn't it? I'm gonna be heading into Red Cliff, aren't I? Oh, God. Get out of my face. What are they? They're five. Not worried. I think you should cut that out. You, hurry, quick. Something. It didn't work. Oh, it would have been nice if it weren't. Excuse me. I don't even know what the... Where's... Where's the rift? Oh, it's so high in the sky. Can I even disrupt it? Does it even matter? No, it doesn't. It's so high. I didn't even see it. Shouldn't we travel to Val Royo now, Seeker? The breach isn't going to close itself. Indeed. The sooner we obtain help for the breach, the better. Did he just talk to himself? Okay, yeah, we'll go to Val Royo. I think we have time in this episode. Let's just... I don't know, maybe we'll head into Redcliffe. Or at least discover it. Or maybe going to Redcliffe Road is enough. Hello? Oh. In this house, uh... We don't find anybody. There is a sack with loot in it. Some fabrics that we can use. Uh, there is a letter. Uh, Stone Dreams. A letter in an abandoned home. The stone calls to me. In my dreams. As I shape it with chisel and hammer, it shapes me in return. My flesh twists, claws and fangs ripping forth. The light in the sky makes the stone so much louder. The cave in the hills has good strong stone. I can shape it into something strong enough to keep me safe, if I hurry. Jendon, if you're having the dreams, go talk to the Templars. The war doesn't matter. Their job is to help when things are too frightening to deal with alone. And the only reason the Templars didn't find you as a child is because your parents hid you away. If carving helps you, here's a map to an old cave I stumbled on a few years back. I think it has the stone you like. Okay, interesting. Oh. Intriguing. Apparently the door, or the key to Valimar, is in the place where the mercenaries are. Or at least, close enough. 
might be worth checking out someday soon. These are shards. These are these are shards. These are shards. Those are shards. Everything's a shard. This is a door. <laughs> Except for that. That's a door. So before we leave, because I am going, I'm going to leave. Let's see if there's a way to get into the structure above us. There's a sack in one of like a little trade house or something, or like a storage place with some deep, deep stalker hide and dragon thorn. Codex for dragon thorn. Um, I'm not seeing anything outright, but I do find a path to the right. That leads us up to the top. Going inside, we don't find much, but we do find a ladder. Climbing the ladder, we don't find much, but we do find a mosaic piece for the fall. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump off of this. We're fine. We do see some windmills, and if we remember correctly, windmills are a thing in Redcliff. Redcliff Redcliff's thing is just windmills. So we can climb a little further, see that ram run across that person's front steps. To find a dead Templar. Looting them. We find a mercenary long blade. Oh, that's the end of Blood, Blood Brothers. Oh. I see. That's not a Templar. That's the mage. Kill that warrior. These are the Templars. One of these is his brother. Was his brother. Oh, on the other side there are mages. Okay, we can chill. Alright, unfortunately they didn't reconcile at all. They ended up killing each other. Well, next to the campfire out front, we can loot a, a pouch with some silk. And then we can loot another dead mage for 11 gold and a letter. A letter found on a dead Templar. Oh, it was a Templar, sorry. Templar Koran. In light of the current hostilities, I believe our arrangement is no longer satisfactory. You are unable to reach me with payment and I have no means of delivering the merchandise to you. I hope that when this unfortunate situation is resolved, we may once again do business. Tanner. I don't know who Tanner is, but we can confront Tanner in Redcliffe Village. And it seems that something's calling out to us. I'm guessing this house is probably empty, but we'll need Varric's help. Nope, there we go. We need Varric's help to open it. Awesome. Thank you. And on the table, while we're inside, we find a big wheel of cheese and a bottle. Bottles of Thetis. Butter Bile 784. A hard liquor that is not so much served as it is brandished. Coarse and indifferent, it is your taste or it is not. The failing is yours if you cannot rise or lower to the challenge of a distiller told not to. We are going to... We're gonna go. We're gonna go back to Red... Oh, we're gonna go back to Haven. And we're gonna go deal with some... Uh, some more table operations. We need to get, we need to go to Val Royo, so I think we might end off the episode going there. there was no we word can for heaven or for head over to, I'm gonna head over to where Maneva is, and I'm gonna drop off stuff died. first. The apothecary Adon wanted to know when he might be able to provide the materials he needs. I asked Adon not to rush us. Demon essence is dangerous. Sorry. No, it's fine. Just tell him we'll have it for him as soon as we can. Oops. Turning those in, we hit level 6. So 
so I can deal with that real quick. So we can rescue the soldiers missing in Ferelden. We're gonna do that. Inquisition soldiers have gone missing in the marshy reaches of southern Ferelden. Because the region is largely uncharted, finding them will be difficult, but Inquisition's advisors are determined to find out what happened and, if possible, bring their people back alive. We'll have the forces do it this time. Rescue missing soldiers in Ferelden. The missing soldiers have been found in a bog called the Fallowmire. They are being held hostage by Avar, who demand to meet the Herald of Andraste if the Inquisition wants to see its people alive again. So, do you want to gather our party and venture? No, I do not. But we now unlock the place called the Fallowmire. Big ol' swamp. What I'm gonna say. Nice, beautiful area, but big ol' swamp. On the Inquisition, I mean on the Orlay side of the map, we find Investigate the Shards. Sister Liliana, the shards acquired by the Herald of Andrasse are unlike anything I've encountered. Though ancient in origin, few have been recovered before now. The breach must have disrupted whatever ancient magic was concealing them from view. I have heard of one scroll that mentions the shards. It belongs to the Circle Tower of Markham. However, after the Circle Spell, the Sorrel family seized many of the valuables as compensation for donations made after their mage son was taken there. They intend to sell the scroll, along with everything else, at private auction. Enchanter renowned. Renowned? Mm. Hastily scrawled below. Josephine, if the ancient magic is tied to the breach, or can offer some advantage against it, we need to know. Can you get us into that auction? So, I need to figure out what the- hold on. What this costs. This is 4, 12, 10, 10, 9, 8. Okay, we'll have enough. <laughs> I need to make sure that I can pay for both. Okay, so, Josephine says, A few well-placed rumors should incite bidding wars on other items, leaving the scrolls to us. So, we're gonna get our hands on these scrolls. Sister Liliana, with thanks to Our Lady Ambassador, I was able to study the scroll. The reference is vague, but it implies a connection to a temple, possibly elven. I followed the lead and believed one such temple stands in the oasis in the western approach. As to what may lie within, I cannot say. Reports of the place are cut off or have pages missing. I have yet to find a reliable first-hand account. Perhaps our soldiers can provide a better one. Enchanter Renaud. New area unlocked. Gather our party and go to the Forbidden Oasis? No thank you. But with the last act for the day, probably, we will address the Chantry in Valrayo. The remaining Chantry clerics have declared the Inquisition heretical. Attempts to gather allies against the Breach have been rebuffed, and at this moment we could not step foot into the capital without being attacked by a mob or arrested. We must convince the Chantry to permit us entry into the city, so we can show them the Herald of Andraste is not the monster they believe. Recommended levels is 4-7, to seven. that's all I'm saying. So we're level 6, I'm level 6, I don't know what the rest of my party, everyone kind of levels up in a weird way. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask her. I'm more concerned this won't actually solve any problems. I agree. It just lends credence to the idea that we should care what the Chantry says. I will go with her. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now, we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. Well, if anything, let's get going.
it was like a text bubble that showed up at the bottom there for no reason, but you know. The city still mourns. Just a guess, Seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Varric. My Lady Herald. You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. They wish to protect the people from us? Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are delayed. As you say, my lady. Okay, well. Thank you for your help, soldier who has no name. As we walk in, we see this grand walkway with sculptures lining it. Many of the sculptures have plaques underneath, so I guess we can take our time and read them since we're going to be maybe arrested for being in the city. But Avenue of Her Reflective Thought, inscribed upon a plaque, Our Lady and the Actors of Her Rise and Fall her message and visage are worth repeating. Next to that, Mafra's remorse, beneath scratched by a vandal, at meeting a low door frame. <laughs> I mean, this is ex this is to be expected. And on the other side, Mafra's blood guilt, beneath scratched by a vandal, and his head suddenly weighs too much. Heavens. Well, when you put sculptures out and plaques. Oh, they're all Mathurf's ones. These are like turned. <laughs> Mathurf's regret beneath scratched by a vandal about his unfortunate hair. Mathurf's penance. Penitence beneath scratched by a vandal. An unrelated headache. And right next to it, the avenue of her reflective thought. The avenue is inspirational, but wise travelers do not linger in their respects. Not just because the bazaar awaits, but because the area before the back turned statues is treacherous. Local legend has it that the child empress, Amy, abused the opportunity of religious repose to relieve herself beneath the gaze of Our Lady, unable to discipline the toddling leader, her attendants instead chastise the statues and have them turned in supposed embarrassment. True or not, foolish youths dare each other to soil the spot of similar fashion, and the place of otherwise revenant thought always carries a faint odor about it. Exerted and torn from a disposable walking tour of the capital by Philium Abard. Okay, when we're ready, we can enter into the bazaar proper. And it is magnificent. The summer bazaar, as it is said, is a ring in and of itself, this part, into three tiers. This lower level, the mid-level, and then the higher level. There are shops to go to, there are schematics to be picked up, and there are people to see. So, what? let's go see some people. Situated on the opposite Stand side of the bazaar is the people that we need to find. Oh, hello. Along with the Templars will stand for us and help Valroyo return to morning. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yes. Good people of Val Royal, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart silenced by treachery. 
You wonder what will become of her murderer. Well, wonder no more. Behold, the so-called herald of Andraste, claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet. The maker would say no elf in our hour of need. We came here in peace, simply to talk, and this is what you do. I implore you, let us sit down together to deal with the real threat. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. Ooh. Still yourself. She is beneath us. What's the meaning of this? Her claim to authority is an insult, much like your own. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet, you should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. If you're not here to help the Chantry, then you just came to make speeches. I came to see what frightens old women so, and to laugh. But Lord Seeker, what if she really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing, and the Inquisition less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago, after Lord Seeker Lambert's death. He was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. Do you think he can be reasoned with? I hope so. If not him, there are surely others in the Order who don't feel as he does. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. Okay, the Chantry remains operation available. Let me get the codex for Lucius Corin. What's that? An arrow with a message? Oh, I got so scared. Later in the game, for some strange reason, my character, when she falls, it sounds like she's being hit by an arrow, and that just, like, threw me back. Either way, yes, there's a mysterious arrow. Favor for favors for friends. A message is attached written on written in a large, flowing hand and bordered with doodles. People say you're special, I want to help, and I can bring everyone. There's a baddie in Valreo. I hear he wants to hurt you. Have a search for the red things in the market, the docks, and round the cafe, and maybe you'll meet him first. Bring swords. Friends of Red Jenny. So, oop, a poor drawing of the locations on the market is attached. We've heard of the friends of red jenny before um they we are we we we've heard of them we've definitely heard of them at this point um they are people who help um Sherrod, amel is also a part of the friends of red jenny so i mean i guess working with them directly this time 
could help. Anyway, uh, we can go see if this uh, revered mother is okay. She got freaking punched out. <gasps> Cassandra! Uh, Cassandra! Why did you Tokyo break into this woman? Either way, uh, ma'am? This victory must please you greatly, Sika Cassandra. We came here seeking only to speak with the mothers. This is not our doing, but yours. And you had no part in forcing our hand? Do not delude yourself. Now we have been shown up by our own Templars, in front of everyone. And my fellow clerics have scattered to the wind along with their convictions. Just tell me one thing. Do you truly believe you are the Maker's Chosen? I do believe it. Do you have a better explanation? Several, but are they the truth? I am left to question all I have been taught. I suppose it is out of our hands now. We shall all see what the Maker plans in the days to come. You're obviously skeptical. What do you believe I am? Our Divine. Her Holiness is dead. I have seen evidence for everything, except what would comfort me. That doesn't answer my question. For you to be true, a great many things must be false. And if you are false, a great many things must have failed. There is chaos ahead, whatever your intentions. Where is the Lord Seeker taking the Templars? I can't begin to guess the Lord Seeker's mind. He could not have abandoned his intended role more completely. There must be sense to what we can't see. Must there? Rebellion seems popular in certain quarters, doesn't it, Seeker? Is crafting the Templars into a new power really any worse than declaring a rival to the Chantry itself? There's got to be a way to calm everything down and clean up this mess. I hope against hope that may be the case. Okay. Uh, we can talk to her again. I am just straight up out of time. So we're going to end here today and we're going to pick up here next time. There are more quests, but I'd like to... I'd like to see the Summer Bazaar. It's nice here, but, um, yeah. Next time, we are going to pick up in Val Royale. I'm gonna take myself to the Black Emporium afterwards. We're gonna see what the Black Emporium looks like in this game. And I'm gonna get rid of this horrible blush. So, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna figure out what's going on. But, yeah. So, in any case, until next time.